I'm going to show you how to carve this pattern and avoid any chip out where all of the chips converge right in the center. Position your pattern on the blank and then use your pattern transfer tool to quickly and easily apply the pattern so you're ready to carve. To begin with, use your deck of cards to determine grain direction. Line them up on the outside edge of a cut, straight with the grain, and then angle them along that edge. The direction the cards riffle will show you the direction of the grain that's a with the grain cut. Now as a right hander, quadrants 4 and 2, all those cuts will be with the grain. In my normal grip, quadrants 1 and three, I'll need to roll the knife over if I want to make all those cuts with the grain. If I remove this chip first and work in a counterclockwise direction, my last chip, both of the cuts will be with the grain and I'll be in really good shape. We're really going to focus on avoiding chip out in the center of this design where all of the cuts merge. Now to do that, you'll want to have a very light grip on your knife when that cut reaches the center. When you use a light grip, there's no way you can get a deep cut which causes undercutting and leads to chip out. So remember this, when you reach the center, Always lighten up your grip on the knife, and that'll make for a very shallow cut, and it'll avoid chip out. This chip that runs down the center of the pattern, my first cut will be against the grain, and then my second cut, starting at the center, will be with the grain. We've come to our last chip. And because we planned ahead, the first cut's with the grain, the second cut is with the grain, and then we'll remove the chip, and because of planning, we'll have very little chip out in the center of our design. Use your Tombow Sand Eraser to very carefully remove any of those leftover black pattern transfer lines. Switch to your modified knife when you're carving out the numbers. If you need some help with this, check out my other videos on carving letters and numbers that you'll find in the video section at My Chip Carving. Spray on a few coats of satin lacquer and add a nice ribbon, and you're done. You can also apply a gel stain before you carve. Apply the stain, then the pattern, and you'll see that it carves really beautifully. Also, you can take a basswood disc, apply a gel stain, and then the pattern, and carve through that. And then on the back, add the date. That's how to carve 
this 2017 Christmas ornament pattern and avoid any chip out in the center. One pattern, three different styles. Hope you learned a lot from this video and I'll see you here again next time. And remember, introduce a kid to chip carving.